Recently, a team from Autodesk traveled to the Florida Keys to determine if Autodesk 123D Catch would work underwater. The team hoped that if this proof of concept was successful and then validated by the scientific community, it could dramatically improve the way reef systems are monitored worldwide. Current reef monitoring workflows are labor intensive and require the harvesting of coral samples from the reef, which ultimately kills the coral. This new Autodesk 123D catch workflow is easy, it's available to anyone with a waterproof digital camera, it provides three-dimensional data, and does not harm the coral in any way. The technology we're using takes photographic data for the game allows us to photograph the coral growth on undersea lines and convert those photos into three-dimensional manipulatable models. As you can see, the results are remarkable. As with any 3D computer model, once the model exists, visualizations, simulations, and many forms of analysis can be made to the models virtually. That said, the possibilities this new workflow provides to the scientific and academic communities are really exciting. Ben Neal from Scripps Institution of Oceanography explains. In terms of monitoring coral growth, one of the most important uh, metrics that we look for is surface area, particularly live surface area on the surface of the coral calcium carbonate rock, if you will. That's the part that really causes the coral to grow. And uh, what I'd really like to see is a passive or non-impactive way of measuring this living tissue. Unfortunately, uh, the only way we really have right now to get surface area is to utilize destructive sampling by which you take the coral out of the water, you know, killing it, and that's the way that you can measure volume or surface area of that particular structure. This really isn't very appealing because obviously you're killing that piece of coral and today there's not a lot of coral to go around. The second part which is um, important for that is that scientifically it's not so interesting because you end that series. You can't monitor the growth of these baby or juvenile corals up through adulthood and really see how they're growing. What I'd like to be able to do is to go from 2D to 3D in terms of this measurement and to do it passively so we can leave the coral in the water. And with Autodesk Solutions, we can do this.